Alright, before I start this video, I just want to say, a lot of you guys have been writing me saying that in one video I had like 52 shines and the next one I had 60. This video is why, because I did all the blue coins and 100 coins from Bianco Hills and Gelato Beach uh, beforehand. And I've been releasing the videos out of order because this one just took so dang long to edit. So, uh, my shine count's going to make sense after this video, alright? Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario Sunshine. In this episode, we're going to be taking a break from Serena Beach to catch up on all the blue coins and 100 coin missions that we skipped. So starting with Bianco Hills, the horror begins. Uh, here we're starting out with Yoshi here. Just go ahead and get him. Spray down this beehive. These fruits are going to be over by where the beehive is to get Yoshi. Just eat all the bees and you get a blue coin. Woohoo. <laughs> uh, most of these are pretty easy. I'm basically going through these in order. Like here we're doing the ones that are in town. Uh, and then we're gonna move on to other ones. Uh, the rocket nozzle right there, you can unlock it by just, uh, right there where I got my rocket nozzle and everything, though. That's just the location where the rocket nozzle first is, so, yeah, it's not really any big deal. Uh, something I want to say, though, is all these blue coins are found in Mission 8, so just go ahead and... I don't know, I can't really think of a good pun involving the number 8. <laughs> but yeah, just uh, go to Mission 8, I guess. That's really all I can suggest, is even if you, even though you're only required to beat up to Mission 7, you can still go into Mission 8, even if you don't intend to collect the Shine Sprite there, so you might as well just do that anyway. Um, just moving on here, uh, I think I'm just going to let the uh, music handle the Actually, no, screw that. Screw letting the music handle it. You guys came to see comp- I don't know. I don't really know what you guys came to see, though, but there really isn't much else to say here. This Pianta here changes uh, location by mission. That's his location in Mission 8, because I made this with people that have been playing Mission 8 in mind. This Pianta stays in the same location in each mission he's found in, so he's not like the other one, though. But actually, I think I am going to lift, just let the music handle the rest of the blue coins, all right? So see you guys in just a moment. Now that you got all 30 blue coins, we're going to be doing the 100 coins of Bianco Hills. The 100 coins are also recommended to do in Mission 8. Just go ahead and go into town. Uh, whenever you see a circle of flowers, like this, defeat the Pokeheads that are in it, and then rotate the control stick and press R to spray all the flowers at the same time to make a bunch of coins appear like that. Uh, just do that to each circle that you see in town for starters. That'll get you a lot of coins. Uh, as you can see, we're already a quarter of the way there, and we aren't even out of town yet. So... Once you've go ahead and gone ahead and sprayed all those, go ahead and go over here, and when you see these trees, there's basically a, I guess a rule you could say. If you see a coin on the tree, collect it. You see an enemy, spray it, and then jump on it and collect the coin. If there's nothing there, go ahead and spray the top of the tree to make a coin appear. There is one tree, as you can see, that I didn't go and get a coin from, and that's because that tree is supposed to yield a blue coin, and because we already collected it, there's going to be nothing there. Uh, this is going really fast, though. Um, here's another circle of flowers really quick. Um, let's go ahead and spray all that. Here's another circle over here. Now, there's going to be more coins around here, though, but what we're going to do is go ahead and remember the fruit that Yoshi wanted at the start of the mission. Go ahead and take that back, get Yoshi, bring him back here, uh, eat all these bees, get three coins from them, go ahead and spray down their beehive, which might take a few tries, as you can see, because I can't freaking get it. There, now go ahead and just eat all the bees and... Ah, God. Stay on the freaking Yoshi, jeez. And then um, all of them except the last one will spawn a coin. All right, now that you do that, go ahead and do the same to the other beehive. And could you stay on the freaking dinosaur and quit dancing? Oh, could you stay on it for more than two seconds? Okay, good. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Uh, this will go ahead and bring you up to 83 coins and an extra life, which is pretty dang good, I have to admit. If you spray those pokies, or stomp on those pokies when they're standing up, uh, vertically they'll spawn three coins instead of just one, so you can go ahead and get some bonus coins from that. And we're just going to say screw Yoshi and go ahead and climb on these tight ropes for now, uh, just to end off these 100 coins. This is actually a pretty easy one to do, and despite a lot of people thinking this is hard. Uh, go ahead and collect your 100th coin, and then the Shine Sprite will spawn over by this white wall dividing the uh, windmill village of the town. Just go ahead and collect it, and next we're going to be heading off to Gelato Beach for those blue coins. Now, remember, I'm going to be collecting the uh, Shine Sprites from the blue coins off screen, so I got three Shine Sprites from collecting those 30 blue coins. Just go to the boathouse in uh, Delfino Plaza, and you can go ahead and get the... Uh, blue coin, uh, the uh, shine sprites from your blue coin. It's really not that hard. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and off-screen that 
Also, you might notice that uh, in Serena Beach, my shine count was a little bit off. Like, I suddenly had like 10 more shines in a video. That's because I recorded the blue coins and 100 coins of these worlds a long time ago. And I decided to not upload them until this video was, you know, ready to be released. You know, as not to delay the rest of the series, but that ended up not going in my favor. But whatever, I'll just shut up now and go ahead and uh, keep just going through here. Now, we already covered all the blue coins here on the beach while I was yapping away, though. Uh, so, uh, what we're going to want to do here is go ahead and get the rocket nozzle once you collect all the ones around the beach. Go ahead and go to this island, and you can go ahead and rock your way up there. And I guess here I switch back to the rocket nozzle. Yeah, yeah, I mean, gee, whatever. Just go ahead and swing your way around and get that one. Uh, there's only going to be a couple underwater, and they're really not that difficult to find, though. These are ones that a lot of people miss. So, you know, if you've been having trouble finding blue coins, maybe these are them, you know, the ones that are underwater. Especially the ones that move underwater with the fish. Um, this one right here, you find these in every level, just about, you know, blue birds that you spray and turn into blue coins. They're in every level. They recycle the hell out of them. Uh, let's see here. This one's another one that's a little tricky to find. You have to go to the highest point of the level and go ahead and spring your way up, and then go ahead and get that off the type rope. Uh, this one's also a little easy to miss. Once you're done playing around on the tight ropes like a little jerk, go ahead and collect that one. Uh, a lot of ones where you have to spray the sand. Also, uh, these aren't available in all missions, so you're going to want to pay attention to the graphic telling you like what mission they appear in. Like right here, these are only in mission 6. Uh, but anyway, now that we're done collecting the easy-to-get ones, now for the hard ones! It's the Legendary Sandbird, as I've said in previous videos. Go ahead and just go into the Sandbird's lair. And, no, not that horrible PS3 game. I mean, go into the egg, and then go to the Sandbird level. Now, I'm going to attempt to get all of the Sandbird's blue coins in a single go. That's right, without dying. I'm going to attempt to get them all in a row in a single life. Let's see if I can do it. All right, there's the first one over there. Let's go over to... Oh, whoa, I almost actually fell right there. Uh, let's get back on, and... All right. Jump for it! That didn't last long! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's a wonderful start. Well, technically, I didn't collect it yet, though, so I can still conceivably do it all in one life. Yeah, like I'm never gonna do it. But despite how hellish all these blue coins are, we're gonna freaking do this, all right? We're gonna get them all. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, let's just freaking do this. Alright, come on, let's not fail in the first. Oh, damn it, I missed it! Right, actually. Oh, whoa! What? What? How did. How? What? Okay, I'll take it. Oh, one up. Uh, actually. Nah, I shouldn't go for the one up. Screw it. Uh. Sorry about that, I had to cut away there for a second just to get this under the time limit real quick though, but whatever. Let's just go ahead and keep at this. Come on, if I can just do this in one go, that'd be amazing. Please, just let me get this in one go. I want to be able to do this in one life, come on. I, I want to be able to get all the Sandbird's blue coins in just one go. That'd just be awesome if I could do that. Now, you can see the Sandbird's turning underneath you though, so getting back on him after getting on that cloud could be a little challenging though, but I actually somehow do it. <laughs> I don't know how. Now, you can see the sandbird looks kind of weird underneath if you hand the camera over, which... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm back to saying whatever. That is like my word for this LP, you know? It's just, it's a whatever type game. I don't know. You know what? I'm actually... Should I? Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and after I get all the blue coins, I'm going to try to get all the red coins. So that way I can just show this mission who's boss. Because if I can get all the blue coins in one go, I can friggin' do anything. There, come on. Come here. Come here. Come here, little blue coiny whiny. Come here. I just want to collect it. Yeah. All right. Now, my count is off right there. It says I have 19 instead of 20 just because I the order that I recorded these blue coins in, though, so it's just going to look kind of weird, though, but trust me, I did get all 30, as you saw by the count in the graphics in the corner. But uh, anyway, all right, six blue coins. Come on. We're going to get all eight. We're going to get all blue coins and all red coins in this area. Alright, got the seventh one. Now, the eighth one's the easiest. Let's just go over there and... ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! <laughs> uh, uh, that was horrible. I didn't even... Uh, how long are we gonna keep falling until we die? Oh, okay, right there. Anyway, uh, next time on Super Mario Sunshine, I think we're gonna go ahead and return to... Uh, well, we're going to be doing the 100 coins of Gelato Beach in kind of a half episode, alright? Because we just don't have enough time, alright? So, I guess I'll see you guys later.